Okay, hello everyone. What we're doing in this video is showing you how to take a typical uh, 2021 first semester chapter in Canvas for FIN301 and morph it into something that looks more like this, which as you can see is much more streamlined and also it converts the material from online based to in person based. So let's get let's get going here. Um, I've got on the other side of the screen here a helper sheet of materials that you should have emailed to you already and that's going to help guide us through. So this again is how a typical chapter should look when we're done um, and then I've got a lot of other helper material down down here. So coming back coming back here we're going to work on chapter three uh, the first thing that we want to do is move the page that describes the lecture videos, <clears throat> excuse me, down to the bottom. We don't want to delete them, um, but we're just not going to make them visible to students and that way if we ever have to convert back to online classes that's going to that's going to help us a lot so we need to start now with a page um, you can see the icon here means page this means quiz etc etc and the little paper clip here means file um, so we need to have a page up at the top, and a really easy way to do that is to come up to the previous chapter, which is already done, and just say duplicate that page, and that's great. And we'll bring this down here where we want it, and we're just going to rename it, and we want to be very careful about our naming convention um, because that really helps me search and keep things sorted and there are so many pages otherwise it's very confusing so we'll be careful about that. All right so starting with our naming convention this is going to be uh, lecture notes for CH03 and CH03 is all about what, I don't remember, I'm going to have to look it up. So we'll come back to that and let's see, here are the lecture notes. So here's the sample text that goes in here. And this looks good. This all looks exactly like what I've got over here, which it should because I copied it from chapter two. And now I just need to get rid of this chapter two PDF and put in the chapter three PDF. So I'm going to remove the link just to make sure. Sometimes when you delete all the text of a link, the link is still sort of flapping around in there um, and can be clicked on accidentally. And now I want to go to insert document and it's going to be a course document and I'm going to search for CH03 and let's see what we've got here. Okay, I happen to know that this is the file I'm looking for, the lecture notes. Um, if you don't know that, I'll show you how to get that. But it's always going to be something like uh, ending with two post, starting with the chapter number and ending with two post. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then let's see what else we need to do here. I think that's it. So I'm going to say save. We're not going to publish anything 
um, when we're doing this work. So now I want to go back to modules and let's see how things are looking here now. All right, so chapter two is looking pretty good. And chapter three, chapter three is our financial accounting review. So let's go ahead and put that in. So I'll click on this guy and I'll say edit. And now we'll put up here in the title. Okay, and I'm going to say save. Okay, and let me try the back arrow here, see if that gets us any quicker. Now nah, we want to go to modules. All right, now I want to check that that looks good. I want to keep checking as we go here. Whoops. So, so far we've got lecture notes at the top. And that's what we want. And we can make sure we have the right file by looking at this guy, CH03 fin accounting to post.pdf. So let's go back in and make sure that's what we've got. We can also preview it here and that's definitely lecture notes so that's really good okay so now that I've done that I can remove this and that's looking good here all right, so what's next? The concepts quiz. So I don't need this concepts quiz page, right? All, all I need here, you see the icon, the rocket icon. All I need is the quiz itself. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. OK, and I'm going to decrease the indent on this guy twice. All right, so it's lined up now. And now I'm going to go in to this concepts quiz. And what we want to do is for all the concepts quiz, put the concepts quiz blurb in there. OK, so this will be at the beginning of every concepts quiz. And let's see what else we might want to do here. Yeah, the only other thing I would mess with um, is just we want to change the due times from 6 p.m. So don't change the date but we want to change the time to 11.59 p.m. and then make it available to that same time. And I think that's about it. So we can say save and that's looking good. And the as you've been maybe noticing, the, the back button functionality doesn't really work very well in Canvas. And you can see if I use this, it's going to send me to quizzes. And I want to be in modules. So I'll just hit the modules button. OK, so we'll keep working through this. Chapter 3. So we have the concepts quiz. We're going to leave the concepts quiz solutions as they are. And let's just go back and double check that we've got our naming convention where we want it. Aha, uh -huh, and we don't. 
So I'm going to go back in and edit both of these to get the right names for them. So it's going to be Concepts Quiz 4. Okay. So we'll save that again. And notice how now our due date and time are correct and are available until date and time are also correct. Okay, back to module. So I'm going to want to do the same thing with the solutions. So let's scroll down here. Okay, so I'm just going to say concepts quiz for CH03 solutions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, and everything matters with this naming convention. If you just do something like that, um, when I do a search and things are alphabetically ordered, this will be in the complete wrong place. So it is important to follow the naming convention exactly. So when I search for stuff, it will come out the way it should and nothing will be missing or misplaced. Okay, and back to modules. We're just going to keep going here. And we're going to do the same thing with homework that we did with the concept quizzes here. And so homework, there is no page to get rid of. So basically, um, just, whoops, let me change that. Sorry, I was on chapter two. We are, of course, on chapter three. There is a page here for homework, so I want to remove that. Okay, and now I want to change the name of this. I want to put in a little blurb for homework and I'll want to change the due date and all that jazz. All right. And we don't need that posted. Obviously, this will be posted. Now, I do have a blurb to go in here same way that we had for the concept quizzes. Whoops, and it looks like, look at this, I forgot to put all of this in our concept quizzes blurb, so I'm going to have to go back and do that. Okay, so here's the blurb we've got for homework. And there we go. And again, I'm just going to change this 6 p.m. to 11.30. Oh, sorry, 11.59 in both of these places. That looks good. And we'll go back to modules. And let's finish up with the homework for chapter three. So we'll decrease that indent twice. Okay, and let's change the name here of the solution file.
and back to modules and back to chapter three and everything looks good through homework right now except oh, So everything's looking good through homework, except we have to go back and add part of our blurb that we missed to concept quizzes. So let me just copy these and we'll go back here. There we go. And now everything truly is good for everything up to additional resources, optional use as needed. So what we need to do again here is go up to chapter two and let's copy this and bring it down to chapter three. Okay, so let's remove this page. All right, and now we're going to get into this guy and change it for chapter three. So let's change, first of all, that two to a three and it's fairly straightforward um, we want to remove this concepts definitions and formulas chapter two and replace it with chapter three let me see what happens if i just delete that yeah not good okay so i'm going to remove that link backspace all of that and then insert a document, a course document. All these documents are already in our Canvas site. And and what we want is lowercase c concepts, definitions, formulas. And this is what all the concepts, definitions, formulas, PDF files look like. It's going to be chapter number dash with a Z there. And so that's beautiful. Okay. And let's see. All right. So I need to know. Um, well, actually, I don't need to know much here. I can remove this link. So this is the chapter of my textbook we have to put in here. So let's see what we can find. Um, yeah, so I believe this is what, what I want. Um, but I'm really, I'm really not sure it might, it might be this file and I'm not sure which one is which but we're gonna we're gonna be able to figure it out very quickly so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that put that in right now um, and let's see and I have to know how to change this this is the appropriate chapter of the FOFM textbook fundamentals of financial management so we'll figure that out and clearly we don't have game stock so I think the best thing for me to do here at this point is to duplicate this page yeah 
and that was maybe a mistake, hopefully not. Um, and let's go on this one back to module. So we're going to say leave here. I might be screwing things up by having done things this way, but what would have been a better way to do this would have been to just come through here and opened a new Canvas page and gone to Fin 301 like that. In fact, let me do that just so we're being consistent here. And then I come down to chapter three and I see all the additional resources that I want to put in there. So we'll just pull this over to here so we can refer to it as needed. And we'll put it back in here. So what is the chapter of the FOFM textbook? It's chapter three that we want here. So I just changed that to a three. So we've got concepts, definitions, formulas. Hopefully that's the right chapter of my textbook. We'll check on that. We have the right chapter of FOFM. And then, so we don't have game stock video and interesting article, but we do have this reading uh, importance of financial accounting dot pdf so and here that is up there so that's really good so let's again remove this link and let's insert this guy and we want to preface this with reading Okay, that looks pretty good to me. And now for practice problems, we're going to have to take a look here. Whoops. On this practice problems page and see what's there and copy it over. Okay, so this chapter as of right now has no practice problems except those that are done in the lecture handout. So that makes things fairly easy. So we'll go over here and I'm going to take out all of this stuff and I'm going to say something like this the practice problems for this chapter are presented in the chapter handout and solved in class. So that's that. And then I just need to go down here and update this. So we have chapter three. So I'm going to leave out the videos because now the videos are not available to the students. Um, so we'll say here, this is going to be a big thing. And that starts on page five of the handouts. And now I'm just going to give it a little space here because I'm not liking that spacing. And this will be 
U sub dent PPE. And that starts on page 15. And I'm going to weave the little blurb on conceptual problems uh, just as it was. So you always want to look on this page. This is the old page from last semester. And just make sure you're not missing anything. You know, there might be a video like the game stock video, stuff like that. So whatever was on this page just needs to be translated into this new form of the page. So let me say save and see what this looks like. All right, and let's make sure that we have the right thing here. So this should be my textbook, and maybe it is, and maybe it's not. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, good. Um, yep, yep, that looks, that looks great. Okay, and... Let's go back and let's go to modules. And back to chapter three. Now we're, we're pretty much done. So all we have to do is clean up this stuff at the bottom. So I'm going to remove this because we put that into the page up here, the additional resources for chapter three page. So I'm going to remove it. And removing something doesn't delete it, so you don't have to worry too much about that. It just takes it out of this module. So we did get this change, so I'm going to say remove. Okay, and the practice problems, I definitely don't want to remove. And that's a mistake that I made up here in Chapter 2. You can see I did remove it. Bad, bad, bad. The reason that I don't want to remove this, I'm just going to keep it hidden from the students, is that it has, as we can see, all this great information on exactly where in the lecture video it shows up. So if we ever have to go back to online, I'll definitely want this and not have to reinvent it. All right. So we're keeping those two. We can get rid of this guy. And we, aha, uh -huh, here is the file that I didn't understand what was going on. So we do have this reading. So we need to go up and put that in here. So this is CH03, Importance of Financial Accounting. So let's go ahead and edit this sucker. Okay. And whoops, there it is. Sorry. That's my early onset Alzheimer's there. And let's just make sure that this is the right thing. Yep, there we go. That's excellent. It's actually a couple of readings in there. All right, so now that we know that we incorporated this reading into our new additional resources page, we can remove this guy. 
and that's it. Now we are done. So we have, what do we have? We have lecture notes, concepts quiz, concepts quiz solution, homework, homework solution, additional resources. And these two things are going to remain here forever, but they're just never going to be published. You can see up here, this means the module is published, that little green check mark. But this means, even though it's in the module and the module is published, this information is not published for students. Neither is this, neither is this. So I'll do that. Um, please don't publish anything as you go. And that's it. So I'll have you do uh, probably the rest of these chapters. Thanks, as always, for your help. Take care.